Gertrude Stein once said, there is no such thing as repetition, only insistence. And that's very much a common theme in the pattern series. Now obviously, dogs and foxes don't fit into the whole animal husbandry consumable theme that I was exploring with some of the livestock portion of the uh, pattern series. But nonetheless, when we repeat something, we are in fact saying something different every time we repeat it. When we say something once, we're saying one thing. When we say it a second time, we emphasize it. And we say it a third, fourth, and fifth time. Each time we're changing the narrative. And in this particular case, um, the fox is this you know, live animal that looks like it's ready to spring on its prey. Um, the greyhound is in a very beautiful sort of show dog stance, but it's filled with coiled energy that's ready to go. And repeating the image of these animals in motion behind them really helps to emphasize that. I actually had a couple of very memorable encounters with foxes in England. Uh, the most noteworthy was a beautiful fox that we saw right in the heart of downtown London late one evening. I was out with uh, my partner and a good photographer friend of ours and his wife. All of us had cameras and somehow none of us managed to get a picture or even thought to take a picture of this beautiful fox that we saw sauntering out across the street. It was a very memorable encounter and I was kicking myself afterwards, but fortunately the opportunity presented itself uh, to um, go to a wildlife rescue center and rehab uh, in the Gloucestershire area where I was fortunate to be able to uh, get some reference photos of foxes that ultimately led me to be able to paint the sneak. So I've always loved sighthounds and uh, really had the idea in mind that I wanted to paint either an Italian greyhound or a whippet or a greyhound uh, for this show. And of course I couldn't very well use Enzi here as a model because then I never would have been able to part with the painting. So uh, ironically, as much luck as I've had uh, photographing um, amazing captive animals the world over, but even more so encountering amazing animals in the wild, it was very difficult to get some good reference material of a greyhound. Um, I initially started with a number of breeders thinking that uh, they would give me access to their animals, um, but I uh, found them to be very standoffish and finally encountered a lady who runs a doggy daycare center who was very generous in giving me access to her three um, former racing greyhounds that she had rescued. Um, one of whom, Sir, became the model for this painting. Don't worry, Enzi, I'll paint you one of these days too.